Assalamu alaikum everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to make Quran recitation videos similarly to my last video which was done on desktop or like the PC version of CapCut but today I'm going to be showing you how to do it on the mobile version similar to this video right here الأخلاء يومئذ بعضهم لبعض عدو الأخلاء يومئذ بعضهم لبعض عدو إلا المتقين يا عباد لا خوف عليكم اليوم ولا أنتم تحزنون الذين آمنوا بآياتنا وكانوا مسلمين so there will be two parts of the video. Towards the end, I'm going to be showing you how to add your own font for like the translation part, just as itself. Firstly, you just need to search up the uh, surah itself. So surah Zukhruf. In this case, I'm going to be doing um, open up Quran.com, and then the translation I'm going to be use is from Dr. Mustafa Khattab, the clear Quran. And then, of course, you just want to search the ayah you're going to be starting with. So in this case, I believe it will be 67. Yeah, it looks like it will be 67. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be showing you two parts of the video. So the first part is going to be the Arabic and the English translation. Second part is just going to be the, it's going to be the Arabic um, text and then the English translation with your own font. So if you stay towards the end, but for now, I'm just going to screenshot um, the eyes that I'm going to be using in this video. So once you've got that, you should have basically all of the screenshots of the eyes. And then what we're going to do later is just crop it up so it just fits the eyes itself and the uh, translation. So on iPhones, of course, you just need to click the crop option, where the edit option, and then click crop. And then I'm just going to do it so it just fits the eyes itself and then later on what we're going to do is make it invisible in the background so it just shows the text only so if i show you here like this area here then once you've cropped it up so it shows the eyes itself and the uh, english translation that should be here then you just basically get done so what you can also do is, if you want to have like part of the eye, you can just crop it. So it just shows the, that specific part of the eye. But in this case, I'm just going to do it like this. And then, of course, you should have all of the screenshots. If you just edit all of them, and then it should look something like this for all of the screenshots of the eyes that you'll be using in the video. And then, of course, you just want to import something in the background. So in this case, I'm just going to do a black screen, just like, like a blank screen. You can add like a like a live recitation video or something in the back. But and then you want to remove this outro part. Click delete. Once you've got that removed, you just basically need to just extend. Well, it depends because I'm just using a blank screen here. So I'm just going to extend that a bit so I can fit the images, of the eyes. Then of course you just need to import like the the images of the eyes, the screenshots we took earlier. And then of course I'm just gonna adjust it so it fits like the audio itself, which we'll add later on. To make the background invisible, just select the image, click splice on the bottom, and then you just need to click on I believe it will be hard, yeah, so that way it will make the background invisible. And then of course it will look invisible in the background, that grey background will be removed and then you just need to adjust the eye so it fits the audio itself so i'm just going to add that now add the audio you just need to click audio just on the bottom left and then you just need to scroll to the right until you see well i'm just going to click extract so it extracts from like a video so if you have a recitation video you can basically extract the audio and put it into your video here yeah. so i'm just going to play it الأخلاء يومئذ بعضهم لبعض عدو الأخلاء يومئذ بعضهم لبعض عدو إلا المتقين. And here I'm just gonna adjust it so it fits the end of the eye. Oh. 
Of course, we need to add the animations towards the end. So what you would do, you just click just animations just on the bottom, and then I'm just going to click. Obviously, we're going to add in, fade in, and then fade out, or you can add whatever animation you want to add. But I'm just going to add fade in and fade out. Once you click those, it should look something like this. And now I'm going to move over to the second image or second aisle. So again, you just click overlay in the bottom, and then you just click, we'll make it do it from the end of the last one, and then you just click add overlay and then select the second aisle or image. And then, of course, you want to remove the background in the second one. So if you just click on that, the image itself, and then click splice, and then click hard, so that way it becomes invisible. And all you would do, you just need to make a match, so it starts from the end of the last aisle. عبادي لا خوف عليكم اليوم ولا أنتم تحزنون. I'm just gonna make that second image match so it matches the audio itself as well. تحزنون. Of course, you just select the image, put the animation as well. So if you click animation just on the bottom, and then when it fade in. Yeah. And then, of course, you want to fade out as well, so it fades in the end part. So it should look something like this. المتقين يا عباد لا خوف عليكم اليوم ولا أنتم تحزنون. And then from there, you just repeat the same steps. I'm just going to do that now. And then you just repeat the same steps. I'm just going to do this off video because it would be slightly long. I've just completed all of those, so well, it should look something like this at the end. If you carefully look at the animations towards the, the end and start of the eyes. <laughs> That's basically it for the first part of the video, so... What we done was we added the well took screenshots of the eyes and the translation and stuff and then just basically put in there made the invisible background and we just added the animations. Before the second part, what we need to do is we'll just crop it so it just shows the eye only. As later we'll add the text by itself and then we'll just change the font from there. Once you've done that, once you've cropped all of the images, what you need to do is just click overlay and then of course add overlay and then select the aisle. So right now I'm just going to edit it so it matches like the end of the eye and the audio. So I still got the previous one there, so I'm just going to remove that as well. Once I've got the other image in, which is in now, and then I just remove it. And then same steps, you just click the image, click splice, and then you just click hard so that way it makes it invisible. I'm just gonna amend it so it fits on the screen to the run at the top. And then you just repeat the same steps for the second one as well. Put the image in. Make a match the audio and 
you just click animation with splash array and then you just click hard and then that makes the background invisible and just readjust the image so it fits in the screen correctly and then of course you just click animations and then you want to fade in and then fade out as well so if we click fade in And then fade out. In. Repeat it for the same in the second one as well, and then of course the all of the others as well. Yeah. Mm. It looks something like this. So if I just move between the eyes I'm just going to fast forward the third eye that I'm going to be doing now And now I'm just going to add the translation. So, what I'm going to do if, I, if you just click text on the bottom and then you just grab the translation from the website, so I'm just going to and then you just copy and paste it in. If the line is too long, all you just do is just go to one part of the sentence and then just click return so it drops to the next line and then from there you just need to click animations obviously make it fade in and then fade out as well uh, then of course just make the text the same length as the, the picture or the eye itself if you look here carefully as you can see it fades out earlier than the image itself so to fix that all you need to do is if you just scroll to the right until you see animations again and then just along the bottom as you can see that red slider if you just drop that down to, to 0 0.6 so that way the length of it drops <laughs> Now towards the end it will look something like this. You can see the fade out duration was dropped so it fades out more quicker. And then from here you just need to adjust the eye so it looks slightly big and then you can just make it to the middle or however you want it. And you can add your own font like if you want to change the text of it. I'll show you later on in the video with like the pre-selected fonts that CapCut provide. Um, you can also add your own one if you do wish to. So if you want like a specific font, you can, you just import that in and then you'll be able to use that as usual. I'm just gonna run a speed run on the, well the next eye yourself, just show you again. And then after that, we'll add like the pre-selected fonts to the text. Yeah. <laughs> يا عبادي لا خوف عليكم اليوم ولا أنتم تحزنون الذي
الذين آمنوا بآياتنا وكانوا مسلمين ادخلوا الجنة Now, once you've done all that, it should look something like this. So, obviously, the first part where I've just added the first with the Arabic text and then the translation itself, or the text itself, and then the second part was just the images, the screenshots. So, now what we would do is we'll amend the font of the text. So to do that, all you do is click on the text itself, and then you just click on animations, and then go to the font section. And then, obviously, there are pre selected fonts that you can use. In this case, I'm just going to use one of them, or like a few of them, just to show you how it looks. Another way is to import it. So if you go on to add font, then you can add your own font, whatever you want, you want. And then you'll be able to just use it from there. And that's the end of the video. If you did learn something, just drop a like. And if you are unsure, just drop a comment. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.